Hey, hey, hey. Ladies and gentlemen, so do we have a signal there on the stream? We should have a signal. Please, Mina, write us on... Um, uh, uh, yes, uh, just a moment. Yes, uh, we need to check which computers have uh, native instruments in uh, libraries installed. Um, that would sort out that question. Uh, talk, talk, talk. Okay, okay, okay. So, Mina, please write us there if you can hear us on YouTube. You should be able to hear us on YouTube. Um, and now let me send the signal here to Denise. Denise, can you hear me? Denise, hey, great. You can hear me now? Just don't worry, just, just keep playing. At the moment, nothing is happening here. You can hear me now, and Mina can hear me now. Okay, guys, so, uh, yeah, I see Mina saying yes. I guess that that's Mina telling us, yes, I can hear you. I can hear you. Great, Mina. Great. Super. Okay, so what's happening next is this. How many? Let's open our Telegram uh, little list here. So, sorry, if somebody cannot see from there, maybe it's better to sit there or something. Like, I'm sorry, just this is a most comfortable position for me because I will be going out there a lot. So, number one channel. It's going to be Bash Audio Great River. Uh, by the way, Denise. Maybe you want to come here while I'm making the routing, because maybe you want to see it, and then I'll send you back there to play a bit, and then I think that would be cool. Yep, that's cool. Come here. Come here, please. So, okay. So now uh, we're going to do the following. The first rule of setting up something, you have to I have switched off everything. Yeah, I'm just going to start the routing here, and it would be better if you see this. Okay, so what do we got? What do we got? We got, uh, uh, let me tell you an another little trick here. You want to make a routing, but maybe you're there you have no mutation there uh, to, to give you a source. Because you want to make a routing, but you have like 12, or now we have 12 channels. I mean, in different places, there are many places that can do, that can do problems. So I usually just open Spotify here and leave my phone there so you can listen. Uh, and then I let you see this thing here. And you see the first of the channel is this one. This thing is here, this is the other one. So you click the channel and then you go to the playlist. And you have a playlist here and there's another one that has like Spotify and this and that. And I do like that and that. Cool, that's it. And you can listen to it. our list, the first one is the Bash Audio Great River. This is the thing that you can see here. So, you want to get that thing in here, and then you can see that this is what's going on. So, if you're right here, right at the top, you see that I have this thing here. Now, there is no other thing here. This thing has everything hardwired. I wired this, and I have another one. So, you see that there is a little sound that happens here. That's why we need the other one. So you can see this thing here is the same as this one, and I can play it here. And the other one is just the first one. Because the first one and the third one here, they have the same sound. So here, you see this first one is like, but you have a second one, and that's why we want to play that. And that's a cable that comes here like this, and then it has this thing here. Then you have a cable that is here, and then you have this one.
Once again, uh, very quickly, we have Roy with the award for the Best Local Talent from the Board of Directors of Sony. And we also have with us the recipient for the Operating Excellence Award, Matt Griffith for his performance in the Rock Band Group. All right. So my first track was a Bash Audio Great Reverb. So that means that in Pro Tools, I'm going to do, now I'm going to, in Pro Tools, I'm going to have to do this. How many tracks do I need? How many tracks do I need? So we said we need 12, right? So I'm going to write here 12 tracks. They're all going to be mono. Ilya is writing me here. Yo, Bratan. I'm in a, a giving a lecture now on B. Uh, by the way, I copied the keys. Keys. So no more lost keys during F1. So, uh, next. Uh, guys, wha just give me a bit of attention here, please. So, okay. So, great. So, we're, we're trying to make our whole thing. So, the first things first, I got my talk back my he here. I'm going to put it last so I don't get confused. So, I'm going to call it TB. And then we're going to have the first one. So, the first one is input one. So, there you will see we should see the clear one. Audience that shows up for CNN kind of gets it, gets what I'm saying. They, they, they hear it. They've heard it. The great reverb. So, uh, yep. Yep. Um, so this is going to be bash slash great river. And actually, leave you give you a little live pro tip. Name the tracks right away like that because th they will be named. The audio files will be named like that. So I'll save some times later. Some some time later. The channel two we said that we're going to plug is uh, it was um, g -g 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 -g, uh, archive here and it was uh, re20 apogee 1.2 so the apogee maestro has this uh, this uh, preamps that are analog preamps but they are controlled with a digital interface so i can go here this is talking about marijuana no, you were talking about it as if it had so that's pretty cool so that's channel two so then goes channel three so what do we got in channel three uh, we got the moth going through the apogee one three so that's here like mic three inside the apogee. examination you publicly let's continue naming stuff so i said i said channel two was r20 apogee let's actually use these numbers why not we will later which one are you asking tl audio going to be hearing uh, <laughs> Joe Rogan speaking. Yeah, <laughs> sorry, Mina. <laughs> I guess that you hear the just Joe Rogan speaking there for you. <laughs> Let me just mute mute these guys here. You don't need to be hearing Joe Rogan there uh, speaking. Uh, then I'm going to get sued by Spotify. <laughs> Only 12. Actually, we're no, no. We're using we're using actually thirteen because we're using also the talkback. Look, the setup is this. What sound card do you have at home? <coughs> Behringer, whatever, whatever. It has two channels in, right? So, I mean, imagine that you now steal that box. Yeah, I don't notice, and you take that box home, and you will arrive. And that's a preamp. So you will want you will connect a microphone to that preamp, and then you will connect the output to the preamp to your sound card. <coughs> so I have the same setup, it's just like my sound card has six, 16 inputs. And so my preamp in this case is this one and the output, uh, number one, well the only output that this channel has is going here. Then the second channel is inside this box, th it's controlled digitally, it's like two, three, four. And then also the next channels will be one, two, three, four of the... Uh, but 
they are arriving in my Pro Tools setup to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. These are just the inputs in how they look in the sound card. It's just how we rooted it. Like this doesn't make me, maybe right now it's a bit confusing, but over time it will make a lot of sense to you. Like I don't know how to explain it better. Because we don't, we're not gonna use 16 channels. That's why yeah, we're just gonna use less than that. So the next one will be um, Moth Apogee and we got it there, great. And then the next one in our input list will be MD421 Apogee 4. So let's check out that we got it. So let's put this here uh, in the name. And then let's see, that that should be Apogee 4. So you see, when you open the Apogee Maestro, there are two you can control here, like Apogee A and Apogee B. Yes, yes. And it's connected like this, Great River, then uh, these are the internal preamps of the Apogee. You see, it's like mic, 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 and then line, line, line. Line means that there is a preamp sending a line output to them. Like line one, because it's great river, then mic two, mic two, mic two. These are internal Apogee uh, preamps. And then five, six, seven, eight. Line five, line six, like seven, eight. That means that there is a cable coming from the output. This box has two type of connector, like an input and an output. So the output of this box is entering into input five of this guy. Like the output, th the way we name them, it's the way the number in which they arrive on the on the on the sound card, because that will be your Pro Tools input. This thing will be practiced and practiced and practiced all over again because. It's just like riding a bike. You will get used to it like uh, along the years. Uh, basically, there are like a couple of numberings. One is what in which box is connected, like in which number in that box inside there is connected. That can that doesn't mean that when you connect number one there, that is going to be number one in Pro Tools. This depends on how the studio is wired. That's kind of what I mean. Yes, correct. Correct. That's it. It's like from box 16 <laughs> to Great River. And actually, if you see here, like if I disconnect this guy, this is the input that is coming from the live room. You will see that in there it says the number 16. Like if around around here, if I start moving around, I will find the number. It, they are a bit blur blurred, but there it says number 16. Kind of. We did it more like this. It's like Great River, it's an exception. And then it's like two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I mean that was Ilya who plugged it. Like maybe I would have everybody would plug it in different ways. And and s every six months or something, you disconnect the whole studio and plug it all back. because uh, it's really fun. You just play some music, buy some beers, yeah, it's a really cool day. Like we, you clean everything, clean the computer. You know, like grab a polysauce and you know clean all the air vents, the ca cables. Like, I, I love this day. It's always so it's always really cool. And actually, just a sec, Mina. You will stop hearing me for one second. Actually, yeah, you're back. Uh, Instagram, uh, Instagram Tochka Google. That's great. That's I'm really obviously in control of all my faculties. So uh, DTH Studios. So, um, like, look, he's gonna ask me if I wanna see some stories. Man, this is so lame. Like, Instagram is so fucking stupid, man. Yeah. Well, anyways, I wanted to show you an Instagram story. <coughs> uh, wow, I don't know what these photos <laughs> are about in our studio chat, like in our studio Instagram. Anyways, I will just see Vova there, there, the guy that was here with us now. Uh, okay. Ah, and there is an MMS tab now, I didn't know. Cool. So, let's move on. Uh, next one will be MD421, Apogee 4. So uh, here is Apogee 4, MD421, the signal is there. And like, you know, can I, I usually do this like to check like, ah, oh yeah, I got a signal, great. Then, okay, then comes the next one. The next one will be output 5. Now this is an interesting case. You see, in the box, in my logical order, 
what comes next is the SM57 Apogee 2.1 because that's kind of I want to have all my dynamic mics and I want to have my stereo mics in the end. So I'm going to put here my SM57. This is going to be my track 5. Now check it out. This input will not be 5 really because that's not That is that track according to what we wrote there it's in Apogee 2.1 so I'm gonna have to change these inputs like of the next four channels to start from 9 Com alt, alt command shift select input uh, and, and input from 9 upwards like 9 10 11 12 so now this one will be SM57 uh, Apogee 2 I'm gonna have to go to Apogee here so to Apogee select uh, ensembles tool and then see like uh -huh, there is a signal, great, that's my SM57. Now, next one is going to be Bear, Bayer, I wrote it wrong, uh, Bayer Octo, Bayer Octo, and that one should be 10, that's all correct there, like channel 10, it would be here in the second sound card, great. The next one will be uh, Beta 91. That's a funny one, uh, the one that we put on the floor. And that mic, I know it, it needs phantom power. So we're going to have to send, in here's in this fourth channel, a phantom power to it. I have no idea if it will work. Yeah, it seems like it's working. Somewhere uh, I got here. Uh, here is at uh, sixteen thirty, and uh, here again is uh, around here. Okay, change the frequency here. Okay, that is at four point six one. Okay, sorry guys, just. Uh, Maybe we will have a forced 10 minute break for so I can help Ilya with something. Okay, uh, so uh, the channel, the next channel I was checking out is the beta, and I don't see a signal there. It should be coming from here. Uh, I did something wrong here. 9, 10, 11. Yeah, there was a signal. Yeah, I made a mistake here. Like, uh, I, I skipped one channel. Like, um, let me go here to my archive and go here. And so, okay, I, I, I skipped the, no, the Bayer Octo, then the Beta 91. Yeah, I'm missing a 2123 SM57 is 9, then this one should be 10. What am I missing there? SM57, Bayer Octo, Beta 90. Ah, it's the DI. Sorry, guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah the DI is the next one. I got it. So I was correct. This one should be 11. Uh, I'm sorry for that sentence, but why is the DI getting giving me such a... Is the phone on top of the guitar? I, I don't remember. Well, it could be. So this guy needs phantom power also. Sorry, guys. I know that was a bit confusing, but I got confused myself. So, yeah, I got a signal in all the both mics, in the Beta 91 and in the DI. Just a bit surprised that the DI is, is giving me such a sharp signal there. Considering that it's just your Roman speaking. But anyways, okay. The next ones are gonna be my stereo ones, which are going to be inputting from five, six, seven, and eight. G -g 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 -g. So now let's see. Look, oh no, no microphone signal. That would have been very nasty uh, speaker explosion there. Um, and now I'm going to get KM 184 uh, left then now you start seeing that signal started appearing because I sent phantom power to them then will be KM 184 right and then we will have the simple way left and simple way right 
simple way left. Uh, this should be simple way right, and this one should be simple way left. Cli three. Awesome. I hope that one day. I mean, I'm, I'm pretty sure that we will have a chance to do that. Now let's hear Joe Rogan <laughs> from many points of view. Recently. <laughs> uh, I think yeah, that one you have day to be careful saying this now. I don't. I don't care. But I've had a drink before, right? I've had a drink before. Yeah. I. Um, I, yeah, I, I, I could see the appeal of it. I really could. Um, I think I, I, <laughs> I even kept a little log of my experience. So like, I, I just was curious, like, what am I going to write? And some of the stuff that I wrote was pretty, I thought, pretty brilliant, actually. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, did I will say this, it did make me, and I don't know if it's my own personal thing, like I'm bringing too much baggage to it, I did get the sense of paranoia that people often talk about. And okay, great. So, we got it. So now let's uh, get you in there. hearing that through the um, through the microphone of the guitar so okay now we have all these uh, signals there coming into us and please play something a bit louder with some chords okay, okay. like with the mediator so Mina, this is going to be really boring for you but i promise that we're not going to hear anything until but yeah, just play something like, I guess, the loudest you can play. Some chords, like a song that has chords, you know. So I'm just going to look at signals visually, how they look like. So, okay. Like, I don't know if you're watching, I, I was looking at this channel here. And then I'm going to go to Apogee 2, I'm going to recheck everything again, now that I know that I have a signal, and I'm going to make them kind of the same, so the signals are comparable to each other. Then comes the next one, I'm now here, and then I'm now down here, this will be channel 4, yeah, and then I, the next one is going to be very satisfying. I'll this in a second. I'm still in Apogee. Just jump to Apogee 2 and go like SM57. So now we were here. And then we're going to see Bayer. Let's go up to here. Bayer, Bayer, Bayer. And then this is, the, this is the microphone on the floor, the 91 here. And then we have the DI. I'm going to turn it down. Let's call this 8 DI uh, Apogee. Now comes the really satisfactory ones. So, okay, no signal there in the TL audio, right? So now I got a signal there, but I could make it a bit, a bit hotter. So now I got, but these guys are two stereo pairs, left and right. And the last thing, I, I don't have a track there, a uh, uh, channel there. Um, and the reason why I don't have a channel there is because...
So, bro, listen. We are not listening at all what you're doing. Zero. Uh, and I did this on purpose so we make it fair, so we don't get to hear our things before you. Sorry, yeah. Uh, I just switched myself off there for a second. Uh, play, play us something like, imagine, couplet, prepiev, two, uh, and then it would be like uh, four bars, four bars, just something really, really simple, like or two bars, two bars of a of four, something like that. It's recording already, and then we'll hear it. So you see, just by seeing at the signals. Like uh, input 10, which is Apogee 2.2, is too loud. If I can just correct them. And there's so much you can do just by seeing at the signals. Like, uh, maybe I can turn off the great reverb. And then I will ask him to do it again. Like, And then uh, I can see that I the first Apogee also can be turned off. And... Uh, the second apogee, like all the first rows of apogees can be turned up. And uh, look, the beta 91, well, I mean, that if I turn it too much up, it's going to give me noise because it's obviously it's only four. something that we need to check. Can you please do it again? Uh, the same thing you just did. I'm recording. So I wanted to see if we want to compare the tracks, would they need to be relatively on a similar or So, sorry for that. I will ask you to start again once more. We still haven't heard anything, making it all here f equal opportunity, equal fair opportunity to everybody. Just go. You can play now. So, um, what's up with Ilya? And Mina will. I mean, we'll so soon be back there to hear some stuff. Okay, you can come here. Thanks. Awesome. Like the most highly recording ever. <laughs> Hello, Mina. So, yeah, in your life? <laughs> For a long time? Uh. <laughs> That's the bash audio alone. That's a uh, ribbon sound. Now, let's hear another one. Mm. I just don't want to hear myself there, but I have no, yeah, I have no way to avoid that. Nah, I can't, because it will anyways go to, I mean, uh, Pro Tools is connected, hardwired to, it's a good thinking what you're saying, but Pro Tools is just hardwired to, to this thing. So. That was just the ribbon. Now let's do see the next one. Is the RE20? <laughs> Sounds pretty cool, like on its own. That's the RE20. I'm really shocked, actually. That is, yeah. But let's see. I just changed the volume of the ribbon, and let's see it how it feels now. <laughs> now it's. Yeah, yeah, now they're easier to compare. Look, 
output, great bash audio, and um, RE20. But it's a bit more metallic, the RE20. Look. Yeah. Like, like, don't you feel that when I open the Great River, it's more diffused? Like, notice it. Wait. Remember this thing I said about the ribbon mic? It's like having one eye in the front and one eye in the back of your head. Like, uh, how can you hear that? Like, so you look, look at this. You feel it? Look. One of them feels reflections for the back and the other one doesn't. If you cannot hear it, maybe it's because I'm crazy, but I, I can really hear it. <coughs> Look at the next one. It's more focused. <coughs> Great, so let's see next. Next we have the moth. Now, okay, get ready for it. That's the moth microphone, and that's how it sounds. That's a copper phone. So now look, you would say like, who on earth will pay two hundred and fifty dollars for that? Well, now look how they sound when I combine it with another mic. Look. Switching it on and off, right? Like, check it out. It lost the realism. Check it out again. Look start with it on and then I'll switch it off. Now it's on, look. <laughs> it's a mic that you use in combination with others and sometimes you would use it like for example, check this out. Well, Mina, you will not be able to hear this but because I don't have this connected to... Um, uh, um, look, if I do, if I show you this... Um, uh, wait, uh, a perfect circle. What's up with... Uh -huh. With the elephant. Yeah, uh, for example, if you see... Look, like this. Let's just see it from the on on YouTube. Like uh, a, a typical thing that you will do with a with a moth mic. Um, look, uh, the doomed um, uh, perfect circle. Look, uh, for example, check this out. when they open everything. <laughs> I have shown you this track because I think it's one of the best drum recordings I have ever heard in my life. And then you open all the mics. And that moth is still there on the back, like when they switch on all the mics, it's still back there. than that RE20. The RE20 was so fat. Look. I'm very shocked with the RE20, to be honest. Now, let's see a little bit about phase, by the way, how well we did it. I'm going to compare... I'm going to compare Great River... Sorry, um, Bash Audio. And we did it great. You see, like, did this I'm just swiping phase. That's all the information that get destroyed when phase relationships are wrong, so you can hear it very clearly. Okay, next thing is SM57. <laughs> now, for example, SM57 and, and, and SM57 and MD421 together, look. <laughs> That's great. That's also really cool. <laughs> like, they usually 
complement each other. I mean, you want to find good mics that complement each other. Now the next one is the Bayer Dynamic. Again, I think that mic has, has an issue. Like but I don't know. You know what? Uh, last week, we used also the, like in the other session, we used, instead of that mic, we used the Audix D6. And I got the same impression that I'm getting from this mic, that it feels like the source cannot drive the low end from me. I mean that this mic can hold so much high heavy FPLs that the source is not kind of revealing the full capacity of the microphone because the source is too weak. No, if we give it more power, he will show you what he can do. That's what I mean. I need to open the door of the studio just a moment. Hello. Doug, with yes? Давай. Давай, я открою дверь. Ты есть? Я на Б. Я на студию Б, на первом этаже. Ага. Ну, погодите там, где две арки. Погодите, где две арки. Просто помогите там. Погодите там, в третьей арке. Окей? Хорошо. Guys, have a listen to yourself. You know how to operate throttles, okay? Ah, uh, kicks, kicks, bass, amps, like things that have a very heavy FPL. I'm going to open the door. Just please, uh, just have a listen to me while I open the door. Какой трек? Новый новый автомат или? На бирфутах. Стереопара, да.
Do you get the point now? Like, I mean, you see that mics are like paint brushes, right? Like, they are not. They are when when we usually when we look at what's going on with the musician, we just just by seeing how the musician plays, we know like now. Okay, that's the idea. The scores. You will have to make four. I mean, you will have to make maximum four. Yeah, maximum four or minimum two. Like, you're kind of sending this. Tell me what was your objective. No, you can't do that. It's literally yeah. your instructions. The only thing you can choose is the volume. No, in this case, I will, I will send you this track. Yeah, and then we will, we will start recording uh, like next week or something. Actually, I, I mean, my goal was, my goal is to show you acoustic guitar recording, and then to get you to record acoustic guitar in an MF, like just a very simple, stupid setup. And I'm, I'm, I mean, m after like, I guess like, uh, like in a, like kind of like after four lectures, I don't want to promise this to you because I need to talk to Dima tomorrow exactly when I can give you access to the studio. Then you will start coming to here and start recording your own stuff without me, like with the agenda, the agenda for me <laughs> with you. Um, so, so uh, look, now uh, the next thing I want to show you is how this stereo thing feels. <laughs> That's the stereo thing. Look, I'm gonna collapse it to the center. Like now it's collapsed to the center. And that's a really cool thing. If if anybody can't understand the stereo image here, just stand behind me because it's such a cool stereo image. Like here, you can really feel like I feel that the guitar is coming from the center. Stereo pair. Sorry, man, and you will not hear me there for a bit. I was talking about this stereo pair that we have there, the stereo microphones. Like I was saying that you can just focus them on the center, uh, for example. Now we're only hearing the stereo KM184s that are close to the. Now, no, we've just been hearing KM184s. We haven't heard the room mics yet. Now, I have collapsed them both in the center and then I'm opening them left right like imagine like a pre pf couplet like open it's not as spectacular as I was imagining like but maybe yeah but also look if I add here I'm gonna send both to a stereo auxiliary so I can process them in stereo and if I add there for example CLA guitars um wait let me just check this out uh i think you will hear it a bit more clearly just like <laughs> now they're collapsing the center So that's a great technique to achieve something like you know more interesting. And then we have the actual stereo rooms, guys. I think there was gonna be an issue with the preamp. Let me hear. Everything good? No, everything okay. That's the bad thing about those simple way mics. Like they are super boutique. Like they are really homemade, kind of. But they can give you errors sometimes that you 
like this is now sorry this is our stereo rooms and if we put them together These are our rooms, you see, like they feel totally far away from the source. This is the stereo close, the microphones that are close to the source. And, and you know, you know what is what is something that you can do sometimes? Like I do this, it's a bit crazy, but sometimes you can do something like this. Imagine I'm gonna send the RE20 to the left, I'm gonna send the MD421 to the right. Uh, combine it with a stereo mono source that is in the center and put that together with the stereo. So what we have here. like many guitarists playing at the same time something like that yes and look if I add here my SSL channel strip I'm curious about the face between these guys great we did a great job with the face and then what happens if we add the moth there in the center Etc. I mean, as you can imagine, the permutations are infinite. What can you achieve is infinite. There is so much there to do. So we started a bit later our lecture, but anyways, I'm going to close it now, if that's okay for you. Uh, I want to prepare your homework, so I will just write you all now on LMS. Uh, so, and, and again, like, let's uh, just quickly, let me save this one sec, and let me just quickly, for a moment, just to compare a bit, uh, what just for like a second? Let me see. Compare a bit what we did with the. I'm back here. It's this room next to us, yeah. I mean, so I, I will send you these tracks, but unlabeled, and then you will say like, "Ah, I think." Ah, uh, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> so let me close this. I'll, I'll. Uh, no, I don't want to save it. I will send you that. So next week.